doesn't flax oil behave like other oils um, and be stored as fat? No, it doesn't. It does not. So good question. Um, there's a lot of misinformation out there in fats. And especially in the old school doctrines from plant-based diets. The original studies and findings in plant-based diets done decades ago, looking at heart failure in plant-based diets. Those early studies, what they did was they eliminated meat and dairy and oil and gave people just plant foods and no fats at all, not even plant fats. And there was a benefit to the heart. The problem is that has now been adopted as the dogma that you should be on a plant-based diet, it's cooked foods, and no fats, and that's the secret to health. But it's not. It was better than the diet they did before, and there was improvements to their heart. What was missing from that experiment would be the next step, which would be put them on plant-based foods with plant fats and see what happens. Now, some of that's already been done in the modern day. I mean, one, that's what I do. So when I started doing this work, unlike the other plant-based doctors I've met, I didn't come to this by reading these other doctors work from decades ago. I came to this independently. When I healed from my own disease, my husband and I are both scientists. We went to Carnegie Mellon. I've done years of genetic research. We went back to the science to say, what is it that I did? And what components of what I did, I did will affect cellular function in a positive way or decrease inflammation. So we, we came up with this on our own, looking at the impact of different types of nutrition on cellular recovery and inflammation. And that's how we came up with this plan. And that's why it's very different than other plant-based diets out there, including the high dosing of omega-3s, the, the um, inclusion of the water intake and the focus on the raw foods was specifically looking at the impact on cells, not just basing it off of an experiment that somebody did that was never expanded. So our experience has been that there's a faster recovery from any illness, including heart disease, using our plan than a fat-free diet or just a cooked plant-based diet. We've had astounding results in heart failure and other issues like that. So this is the most cutting edge nutrition plan you can do based on not just something done a while ago, but some things we're doing now, right? So for example, in my rapid recovery group, every two months, we've got a new group of 30 with all different issues that we help people recover from in a matter of weeks, right? It's extraordinary. It's extraordinary and it's beautiful and it's wonderful. And nothing works that quickly. I have a, a cardiologist that I've been talking to in New York who's been telling me that she's been taking her patients off of the no-fat plant-based diets and putting them on my smoothies and their cholesterol's dropping faster, their weight's dropping faster, they're getting healthy so much faster that this is an improvement. So it's very important to realize where a lot of this dogma comes from and that it wasn't ever shown that plant-based fats were unhealthy. It was just assumed that because they took away the animal fat, that fat was bad. And they weren't looking specifically at what fat does in the body. So there are fats that are bad for you. Saturated fats are bad for you. Omega-6 fats are bad for you, like all the different vegetable oils, bad for you, right? But omega-3 oils, omega-3s do not become body fat. They integrate into cell membranes and they become your anti-inflammatory immune system. They do not become body fat. It does, it's not a thing. In fact, the higher the dosage of omega-3s, even if it's through the oils, the faster the person is able to lose fat. My husband tested that when he owned the largest boot camps in Orange County. He had you know, all of these boot camps full of people trying to lose fat. And all he would do was change their diets. He would do little studies where he would test things. And he found the higher the dosage of omega-3s, the faster the fat loss. If omega, and he was using oils. So if omega-3 oils caused fat gain, he would have observed it, but he observed the opposite. So both the science and the results support that that's not true.